Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews. I am Eric, and uh, today I'm going to be demoing for you this universal remote control. The Sofa Baton U2 is absolutely my favorite, favorite universal remote. It is an upgrade of the U1, which is already the remote I use the most, but there are a few things about it that weren't perfect. They fixed all those things in the U2, and uh, I love it. It works great, and I'm going to demo it for you. So uh, let's jump over to video so that you can see it in action and kind of see why I love it so much and just think it's the absolute best uh, remote you could possibly, possibly get. Okay, so you can see right here, you just scroll to control a specific device, but I have that button as a macro. So no matter, and it's a universal button, the top button, no matter what you're on. So whenever I press that button, I programmed it as a macro to send the signals to turn on my receiver, which is over there, my TV, which is up there, and uh, also to turn on Apple TV. So you're gonna see, it's all gonna come on, and it's on Apple TV. So now if I wanna control Apple TV specifically, then I just scroll to Apple TV. Now all these buttons are controlling Apple TV. So I can uh, go back, I can go down, I can control, I can hit the focus in there and hit you know like the home button to go to the menu as you can see now I'm on the menu so that I can scroll through all that so very simple now let's say what if I just wanted to switch over to TiVo and watch something on TiVo so um, I'm just gonna scroll down to TiVo now I would be controlling TiVo and I programmed this key specifically to actually control my receiver to switch it to uh, the TiVo input. So if I point that at the receiver and hit it, you can see now it's gonna switch over to TiVo. And because I'm on TiVo, now all these, get it focus real quick, now all these buttons are controlling the TiVo. So if I press uh, home, uh, menu, I haven't used TiVo in a long time, but I uh, click my shows, see what's recorded. You see, I can swift, flip through and I'm just using the navigation keys on here. Um, I can play, I can pause. I'm gonna pause because I can't actually show you video. Um, so as you can see that all these keys are now controlling TiVo because this is on uh, TiVo. If I wanted to go back to uh, Apple TV or to any other de device that's on here. But what I do again is I always program that input key to uh, I customize it to control the DIN and receiver to switch to the right input for that. So I have it on Apple TV. I press that button. Now it's going to switch it back over to Apple TV, which is uh, really great. Now let's say I'm watching Apple TV and I'm going to watch a sporting event instead of a movie, which I watch a lot of TV shows and movies. But let's say I was going to watch a sporting event. So now I'm on ESPN Sports. And again, I'm still on Apple TV. You can see I'm on Apple TV. But let's say because I'm on sports, I want to switch into sports mode on my TV. I can go up to LG. Now I'm controlling my LG TV. I can hit the menu button. And that brings up my little side menu. And I can go to picture mode and click that and uh, switch over to different modes that are better for sports. Different things that I've had, different picture modes I have set up for sports. And then I can just press that menu again, again, because I'm controlling LG TV right there. Uh, as well as if I wanted to switch inputs, because I'm on LG TV, I can press the uh, input button uh, for that and switch over to other HDMIs, or if, you, if I had a USB plugged in here with movies on it or videos or stuff, I could switch over to that. Um, and then when I want to control uh, Apple TV again, I just scroll down. That's what I love about it. You just, you just scroll to what you want to control. So with Apple TV, I don't have to change much because this is controlling Apple TV and I've programmed my volume keys so that even when I'm in Apple TV, the volume keys are controlling the volume on the Denon receiver. So my receiver, I don't know if you can see that, but when I'm pressing the, uh, the volume up and volume down, it's controlling my receiver as well as the mute button. Mute button there controls 
uh, my receiver. The, uh, so these volume buttons and the mute button, I've uh, gone in and customized them and then selected volume up, volume down from the DIN and receiver as well as mute. So that controls that, uh, which is super cool. You don't have to change to the receiver to control the volume on the receiver. I've just got the volume buttons under the Apple TV remote set to do that. Uh, so that's really awesome. And then, you know, if I want to control something, so let's go to various, and I programmed these two keys on that to control these uh, candles that I have in the thing. So you can see if I use that, you can see it turns them on or turns them off. So that controls that. And again, just a quick scroll down to various does that and then just scroll back up to apple tv now i'm controlling apple tv and that's what's so good about this remote is that it's so easy and quick to just switch between devices but then generally like if you're watching a movie on blu-ray or you're watching something on tivo you don't have to ever change because i can control all, all these buttons control my tivo this button switches to the right input these volume buttons are already programmed to control the din and receiver volume so I don't ever have to change anything, uh, which is great. Uh, just works really, really well, really easy and simple uh, and fast to switch between devices if you need to, but then program all your keys so that for most things, you just go to the one device you're gonna control and that's it. But so easy. what I love is that if you do need to switch, it's super easy to switch uh, between devices without having to put really much effort into it at all. So it works really great. So you can see this remote works great. I love it. I love the layout of the keys are exactly where you would want them to be uh, to control things. It has all the keys that you would expect a remote control to have and uh, just easy to use. And especially the fact that you can program it to be able to control, uh, have buttons do what you want them to do. You can be on one device, but program one or two buttons to control a different device. You can also set up the macros that allow you to uh, do a bunch of different things with the push of one button. And switching between devices with a scroll wheel is so simple to just get to the device you want if you want to control something else. So just really, really excellent remote control. Definitely the one that I use the most and uh, the remote control that I would highly, highly recommend. That is going to be it for this video. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in the product, share the video with them. All those videos are down there. Um, if you have any questions, just post them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Don't forget to favorite this playlist or subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with future product reviews. That is going to be it until next time. So be safe and be happy.